Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces from 9.13 Div 3 and we're gonna solve the sixth problem that is shift and reverse. So as usual, let's see what the problem states. They will give us an array of integers. You can make two types of operation in the array. So let's assume that the array of integers are something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in the first operation, like if we choose the first operation, we can do shift that is move the last element of array to the first place and shift all the other elements to the right so you get the array a n comma a1 a2 up till a n minus 1 that is if i take the last element here i move to the first position and all these are shifted now the sixth the number six will have at index zero number one will be at index one similarly if i want to move the last element again i can again shift here right one two three four is moved right so index becomes zero one two three four and so on Next, if we don't want this operation, what we can do, we can do reverse. Reverse the whole array, so you get the array a n, a n minus 1 up till a, n, a 1. So this is uh, a 1 here and this is a n. So if you reverse it, it will be 4, 3, 2, 1, 6, 5. So that's what this reverse means. Shift means take the last element and insert at the first and reverse means you just reverse the entire array. Now, what is our task? Our task is to sort the array in non-decreasing order using the minimal number of operations or say that it's impossible if it's impossible just print minus one if it is possible give the minimal number of operations that is there now uh, like we know that if a number needs to be so what is happening here is it's a kind of like a cycle right one two three four is there five six if i'm moving here six i'm moving here again if one two three four gets moved here it goes back to the original state that is one two three four five six only right so four also came three also came two also came one also came means it will be one two three four five six so it forms something like a cycle so cycle means what it can be something like two three four five six they can start from like this that is three four five six one two also can come or something like uh six one two three four five also can come they are just shifting it w that is the main idea of this or else what would they do instead of this they can do like one two three four five six this can also be one possible solution like three four five six one two can come four five six one two uh, like one two three four five six many ways they can print because we have a reverse operation these both are possible but if i have something like one four three five uh, six uh, two something like that is it possible for me to make the array in non-descending order can you get these numbers like suppose i'm say one four three five six two whatever shift operation or reverse operation i do here we can definitely say that it is minus one it is impossible to make it in a sorted order so what is the specialty of this is if you want to make something as sorted uh, and if it is not rotated means we have to swap it right at least we need to swap do some swaps to make it sorted but here it's not there so if we are getting an array that is rotated and like if we are getting an array that is not sorted at least in the rotated format in reverse format also then we can say that the answer is minus one now we are left with two things Either you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or in the anti-clockwise format 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, so we ruled out that minus 1 is a case where it is not possible. So let's uh, see this one. So suppose let's say it is uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 here and 1, 2 here. We are taking in this format. So what did I tell here? 1, 2 here and 3, 4, 5, 6 is in the right side. I can do two left shifts. To make it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can move 1 uh, first. What happens to 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 is the first operation. Then if I can do one more left shift, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I can do two left shift operations here. But we don't know whether this is the optimal way or not. So here what happens is, we how many operations we did we did two shift operations we don't need reverse here we did two shift operations so how did we get that two shift operation is it is simply n n is what six here and what is the index of the number that is the smallest number since it is four so six minus four is what two that's how we got the number two here now how did we know one is the minimum number because we assume that we are working only with sorted cyclic numbers okay so since this is a sorted cyclic number whenever there is a bigger deviation like 6 is greater than 1 or something 
we assume that this is the minimum number and this will be the first number that will be starting so 1 2 3 4 5 6 v2 suppose in some cases uh, let's say that we are at uh, uh, 3 4 5 6 and uh, maybe 1 is here right so maybe we can write like uh, 5 sorry 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 so 6 1 2 3 4 5 in this case what happens is the index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 here i need to do five shift operations right first five i need to bring four i need to bring three i need to bring two i need to bring one i need to bring this is in the clockwise format so in this case what happens instead of doing all of this i can just reverse it if i do reverse this one gets changed right what happens here five four three two one six okay now I did one reverse and let us what can we do 1 2 3 4 5 is already sorted we already know that since we are working only with sorted arrays we take this 6 and shift it to the left so I do one shift here that is 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay this 5 4 3 2 1 gets pushed to right and there is a shift since we already did one reverse it's already in the sorted format now what do we do I do one reverse again we are just uh, reverting the values so 65432 becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 we got it now how did now what did we do here uh, so there are two possibilities here either if it is at the extreme right side we just say that uh, how do we do we just say it is n minus position so n represents the total number minus position this one or what happens i have one reverse plus one reverse that is two plus uh, what is the number of shifts that is where is my minimum number my minimum number is at one so one means i can just say that this is at the position here position or index whatever you want so one represents that before me there are certain number of elements that needs to be shifted so in order to shift those number of elements i reverse it i shift it then i reverse back so there is one reverse that is happening here one reverse that is happening here one shift represents this index before this how many positions need to be shifted so that's what this means so if it is like this this format that is in this cyclic format we can just say this is n minus position or 2 plus pause whatever is minimum we just print it and suppose if 1 2 3 4 5 6 comes if it is at the starting point we can definitely say that 1 is the minimum thing so the answer is 0 I don't have to do any other operation now uh, suppose let's say if it is in this format 3 2 1 and uh, 5 4 like 6 5 4 in this case what happens we are in a reversed format uh, this is one format this is also one format that is I drag I draw through two circles right that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 can come or uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the reverse format also can come that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this case what happens if we reverse it this if we reverse this what happens it will be 4 5 6 1 2 3 now we are back to the same position here that is as we saw earlier this one right that is 3 4 uh, 5 6 1 2 like 4 5 6 1 2 3 so we are at the same position like same uh, design so if this is clockwise if it is anti-clockwise i am reversing it one reverse will give me uh, the same thing so what do we do here we did n minus position to get this format but in order to get this we did one reverse so instead of this we do one plus n minus position and what happens if it is uh, five six uh, sorry if it is like uh, let's say the same format here right we did six one two three four five if they are giving something like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 6, what do we do? This is also in a different, uh, this second format. So what do we do? We just reverse it one time. One time we reverse. So what happens? It will be 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now in order to get this, earlier we know that we did 2 plus position. Because 2 plus position is what we did. But here, we don't have to do anything. Why? because one reverse we already did it right so in this case logically what happens i just want to know one plus position right so how am i getting this position here i mean to say that if uh, this is the position here that is it is at the first position i can write one plus one reverse 
Now that becomes this six will be part of here. So that's what it means. So again, like uh, we are creating two position, two plus, uh, two plus position here. That is one reverse, one shift, and one reverse. Here we don't need to do all of this thing. So uh, like I can explain it again. Like five, four, three, two, one, six comes. Uh, so I can just push it to the left side. Logically speaking, I can just push it to the left side. So one shift plus if I push it to the left side, it will be six, five, four, three, two, one. Then this one I can again reverse. So that's what it means. So it is what it is one reverse plus one shift. One shift means it is just uh, the position. So here I am deriving it to the existing format and removing the reverse value here. So that's all. So what are things we find? We found out that from the initial question, if uh, the array in a cyclic format is not sorted, the answer is not at all possible. That's why it's minus one. If it is uh, sorted, it can be either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Uh, we took the clockwise format. If it is clockwise format, the minimum number can be on the extreme right. If it is on the extreme right, I can I derived it to the formula of n minus position. That is only right shift I am making. If uh, one is at the extreme left, I do three operations. That is, I reverse the value, I do the shift, and reverse it again. Fine. Now, if we are able to derive for clockwise, anti-clockwise condition can also come. For anti-clockwise condition, I am just doing it, I am just reversing it to make sure that the value is a clockwise format. So clockwise format, we already got as n minus position, that is n minus pause here. And one represents the extra reverse that we did. Similarly, uh, if, it, if one is at extreme left, same thing we do with, but uh, with only one reverse. So logically speaking, uh, if six, five, four, five, four, three, two, one, six comes means I'm just doing one shift here and one reverse total. How am I getting one shift only means logically I am deriving it. I am reversing it and knowing the one's position. So that is the one that is happening. The shift is happening there. So now let's see the code. I hope this is clear. Let's see the code so that it will be more clear. So first thing what we do is we are uh, getting all the uh, vector numbers here and i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus v of i greater than v of i plus 1 mod n. So suppose 1 2 3 is there 1 greater than 2 I'll check then 2 greater than 3 I check then I should check for 3 greater than 1 also right. It may happen that it can be sorted like 2 greater than 3 3 greater than 1 and I need to check uh, sorry not this so it should be yeah 2 3 1 2 greater than 3 no this 3 greater than 1 true so this one will be the minimum index for me now 1 greater than 2 also I need to check so that's why we kept all of this now if the deviation we are increasing for each of the one so in a sorted rotated array the deviation will be only once between the highest number and the lowest number now if the deviation is 0 what does it mean means all the numbers are 0 so if the index equal to equal to 0 means what does it mean uh, index equal to equal to 0 means the first uh, smallest number will be at the first part of the array. So that's what index equal to 0. So if the first smallest number is in the first part of the array and the deviations are like 0 or 1, it means that the array is already sorted. We keep result as 0. Now, since it is in the clockwise format, we have to take result comma the minimum of two possible conditions. That is if one is at the extreme right, we do only left shift that is n minus index or we do a reverse, we do a shift and then a reverse. Reverse plus reverse is 2 plus uh, the sh shift that is index. Now we did for increasing sequence. Similarly, if we want, we can just reverse that and count that one and do all the format or else we can do the decreasing format, decreasing array. That is the anti-clockwise format that we saw. And instead of V of i greater, we see V of i less than because we anyway know that the uh, anti-clockwise format, it is actually reversed. So you do the same thing here. Here what happens? It is n minus index. Here n minus index only here, but here we are adding one, one plus n minus index. Then instead of two plus index, what do we do? It is just one plus index. See, uh, why? So there, there might be a doubt, right? Two plus index is here. If I add one to it, it should be three plus index only, right? Why am I writing one plus index? If you see, right, one, two, three, four, five, if you reverse it, it will be five, four, three, two, one. 
again if you reverse it it will be 1 2 3 4 5 again if you reverse it it will be 5 4 3 2 1 in simple words the the reverse reverse keep on repeating right so if i am doing three times reverse it is just one time reverse only it is same so odd number of reverse represents the one time reverse only even number of uh, reverse represents moving back to the original state okay so that's what it means so that's why we kept like one plus index so you can just work out so it will be more clear and uh, you can see this uh, submission id and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments if you like the video please don't forget to add comments thank you